Hi, I'm John Wilson and I'm here today with David Croyle. Seems like nowadays pretty much everybody has a GPS system. We're here today to tell you about some of the fun things you can do with them, like benchmark hunting. It's a scavenger hunt with a historical twist. These are examples of permanent uh, benchmarks that were established by surveyors over the years to capture for all time the latitude, longitude, and elevation for specific points on the surface of the Earth. What you'll be looking for are marks like these that are cemented permanently in rocks or a pavement. All right, we've got some tools here to help us search for the benchmarks. We've got an outdoor handheld GPS. We've got a PDA with all the information on the benchmark stored in it. We've got map, compass, and we've got a tape measure. We're on our way to our first benchmark of the day. We're gonna try to find one Rancho San Antonio Park. So we're very close, we're only about 45 feet away here. High Precision Geodetic Network. So we're headed out to Coralitas. It's, uh, it's a small town in the Santa Cruz Mountains. There's a benchmark by a uh, sort of a memorial plaque. This is the Donald Rose Memorial, a gentleman who died in the First World War. And the benchmark is a meter and a half southeast. So here it is, 27152. So that's one we can put into the database. And we found it. One of the things I really like about benchmarking is the fact that they take you to some interesting local places, interesting natural places, and places like the Coralitos Market and Sausage Company. So we're going to take advantage and run in here and grab some lunch. Got our food? We're ready for the next stop. We're heading up here into the back roads. It's a gorgeous Northern California day. We're going to go try to find uh, some more challenging benchmarks. Hang on to your hats because it's going to be a bumpy ride. All right, we've reached our next benchmark destination. We've used the car GPS to get us this far. Now we're going to use a handheld GPS to go off a couple hundred yards into the brush and find the next one. All right, got it. So here we've got our witness post. This is marks and flags the location of a nearby disc. And sure enough, here's our disc, a standard National Geodetic Survey, vertical control disc. We're gonna check out one more benchmark in this area. Okay, it looks like we're not gonna find this one. The witness post here has been damaged. It looks like maybe this area has been graded. That's the thing with benchmarking. You never know if you can actually find it or not. It could be missing for 50 years. So this is the real benefit of this uh, pastime for me. You get an opportunity to get out and find places like this that are not mapped as uh, parks or viewpoints, but look at what we found. We're gonna head on up to the Palo Alto tree, see if we can move right on up there and find that one. It's a dead giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> we must be close. And no, it's not over the bridge. I think it's over, over here. here. There we go. That's looking good. This benchmark isn't as technically demanding as some of the others that we've found today, but it's historically significant because this tree was drawn on the very first map of California and it represents the point where Portola and his band of explorers camped when they discovered San Francisco Bay. We've seen a bit of history, we've found a few benchmarks. If you want to do the same thing in your area, there are benchmarks all over the United States. Get out your GPS and go and have fun.